Hello, Scorpio. It is time for your beginning to mid-July reading of this current year. Hooray, you survived! That's why I always say this current year, because I forget which year sometimes. <laughs> Uh, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be a Thunderdome, but it's going to be spread out differently. This is going to be your sign. This is the person you're dealing with. This is what happens if you approach each other. Cross watchers, and also the current sign, which is Scorpio. You guys can roll reverse if you so need to, but for me, this is pretty much the sign over here. So let's see what's going on with you and your person, Scorpio. Ah, crazy. Okay, well, you're definitely not trying to come together with somebody. Could be Sagittarius right here, but definitely not, um, harmonious between one another. Like, no fusion. And you might be feeling a bit like a control freak, or you're being really, really, like, hard-headed, I feel like, with the Emperor. Reverse right here could be dealing with an Aries. You don't want to take a leap of faith somewhere. There might be some cloudiness with your judgment when it comes to the situation, and feeling like maybe something isn't going to come to flourishing, and if it does, it just won't work out. Yeah, you're in the whole thing right there. Yeah, might be a little bit of stinginess right here. This could be you, could be Pisces or a Cancer. Definitely feel like you are in a um, situation with a person you're just... You are just not accepting their shit. Like, it, 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 it's like you are unaware of um, a lot of things. <clears throat> you don't have a lot of assurance in the situation, so it's like you're kind of holding back a lot with what it is you can create. Like, you might be, you might be appearing more selfish than you actually are, or like you don't care, but that's not entirely true. You're just being saved. This person has a dream. Um, like, not like Martin Luther King Jr. dream, but they just are dreaming. Um, hoping the burden will come to an end quicker than what it actually will. Well, they're still carrying on forward away from you. I think they're taking the, like, they're trying, they're taking the I want to learn the hard way route. In order to get to the end of this. Like, that's what it kind of feels like to me. Like, I'm going to learn shit the hard way. Yeah, and, and, and it's... It's almost like they're kind of... They're in, it's, it's, it's their insecurities that keep getting them in a place where they're not getting anywhere. But they're not doing anything to fix it. It's probably why this relationship ended up not being as fulfilling as one would think, and now it's like, they're being really defensive and on guard about everything, too. And they're just letting everything burn. They're, they're just letting it all burn, like, they're too busy, tr focused on their own problems to see that the village and the forest is burning and is slowly but surely going to burn their house as well. I just totally mean completely ignorant to it, I hate to say. You know, sorry I had to grab more coffee. It's like, um, it's like people are screaming in the village for help. 
and this person's just kind of like, yeah, but like, look, my, I've been having a really rough time right now, and I just need a break, you know. Awkward person. I'm going to pull one more. <laughs> Very awkward person. Yeah, and like they tried taking fate into their own hands, and it didn't—it just didn't go very well. Um, they might have even felt like jumping ship, so to speak. Yeah, they decided to jump ship because, like, it turns out they really weren't victorious, and something bad came from it. I guess, like, everybody judges them harshly. I reckon. See what else is going on with you, Scorpio. Uh, you are troubled of the mind. Just a tad with the nine of swords. You got a lot of shit on the brain, and you do feel like this burden is taking way longer to come off of than before. A lot of sorrow and loss in this. You feel like you want to come out of this predicament knowing something about what happened back in the day. Like what you've learned without this person. Um, you might wreck into a Virgo or Capricorn or Taurus with this Queen of Pentacles. You might find a different person. Or this could be you like learning how to um, deal and create on your own without your other person. Just doing awesome stuff all by yourself. Like, I can do this all by myself. Right. Right. But it's like, you know, whatever would be presented as possibly a uh, option or choice or, like, some sort of offering is just kind of like, eh. Um... It's like this Queen of Pentacle is getting her power from the fact that, like, this Princess of Pentacle, like, her offer wasn't taken, if that makes sense. It's like, well, you didn't give me what I want, so I went and did something else, and now I'm a lot better for it kind of thing. Even though this really broke you down, I feel like. So let's see what this person's doing. they're not saying a word they're just like you know like they're going away with their words but they're going away so at least you don't have to worry about that like they aren't really i mean if they are saying anything it's never to your face uh they're keeping their secrets to themselves uh trying to move forward but they end up like kind of just fighting everybody. Almost like everybody they come in contact with is just like... Kind of like a friend turned enemy kind of thing. Like, you're cool with each other, but then all of a sudden, like... Someone does something or says something they don't like, and all of a sudden, like, they don't like them anymore. It's like they were, you're just starting to lash out at other people. Could be a cancer right here. Um... Oh yeah, it could be cancer. Um, they might have turned their backs to the whole thing, taking their cup with them. Not riding on a really cool turtle, but the turtle's cool. So it's like they left themselves, but in place of them, you got a cool-ass pet turtle. So, you know, that's pretty wicked. I I'd rather have a turtle than someone that moody. <laughs> that's just me. Like, you know, oh, well, I'm sad you're gone, but like, I got Marvin the turtle. He likes eating carrots and grass, man. Like, he's my dude. Um, they might try to, you know... Okay, that's like kind of like marriage, but it's like also open door. Like, so maybe they might leave an open door? Or not, they might not even be aware of if you would send a signal of peace. <laughs> Yeah, it's that friend to enemy thing. It's like someone could come with good intentions and they just cut them down and then realize it way too late. 
because they couldn't see what was going on because it's dark. You know, they kind of like ended up turning their back on it when they shouldn't have at the time. Now it's leaving them all kerfluffered. Like, they know we all mesh together. They just kind of mess things up. But they're trying to get something done. They are trying. I okay, like, I, I feel like they're trying to manifest this peace offering, but it's like they don't know what it is. In order to get this. Like, they left it before, and they want the marriage back, or whatever this connection is to y'all. But it's like, when they manifest some method of doing it, they just, like, end up killing it, and then being like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Which they, that's not true, they did, it's just they didn't realize it, because it's almost like they lack the patience to do so. They're just putting your whole leg up to your kneecap in your mouth. Like, fuck the foot, just stick the entire limb up there, you know? It's one of those scenarios with the person, it's like, they just keep doing stuff. And then screwing themselves out of an opportunity, I feel like. Now, if you guys approach each other, yeah, you'll be happy. You'll be happy. Um, they'll be looking at you with some skepticism. Or assuming that you'll be skeptical of them because you won't be showing them your cup. This is could be you or a Pisces or a Cancer right here. Either they'll look skeptical to you or they'll look at you like you're being skeptical of them because you're not showing emotion. I think you're trying to understand before you open up. But if this is them, they're just kind of like, mm, can I help you? I mean, if you, I mean, that's what I kind of feel like. You are happy to see each other. Um, it's just, I feel more like this person is a bit uh, paranoid, I think. Now, there is some truth you're laying out on this person about some things that you know that you probably aren't supposed to know. And there's going to be some hard issues when it comes to changing something, Scorpio. You might need to change. They might need to change. Something needs to change. Things probably won't change, which is why there's really not a lot of options to look at here. But they still want to come over anyway and get that booty call. There you go. There you go. They still want that booty. They still want it. Uh, what's the outcome? They'll still come your way. They still want you. It's like you're both like trying to manifest each other and it's like it's a terrible bad romance, but it's like it's romance, dude. Oh, and uh, words, <laughs> lack of victory, heartbreak, one more, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay, so like this person, they want to definitely come in and be like, you know what the problem is, is you broke my heart, and they want to kind of get an argument started. Mainly about how things didn't work, I feel like, between y'all, but they're putting themselves on a pedestal while you're just sitting there with all your notes, with all your evidence, knowing, wait, I know this isn't how it happened, but they still got stuff. Like, they're sitting on this pedestal right here, being higher than these two people over here who have actual notes. This is be and this person's like, you know what, I know what I'm doing, I don't need that. Um, but we have the measure, I, I can pay, I know what measurements are, and they are for novice people, but unfortunately it's reversed, so it's like, that kind of doesn't work for them. <laughs> it's like they're trying to argue against facts with what they think is correct. But they still want to take a leap of faith to you. It's like they still want to try to, like, um... Come in. 
start some shit with you, get you arguing, and then just be like, you know what? Why don't we just get back together? Like, you need me. <laughs> I need you. I know what I'm doing. You kind of need to follow my direction because I already have a sense. And, you, and it's just kind of like, you're like, no, I, I know what I'm talking about. Why are you trying to convince me? I don't know what I'm talking about. And, and then all of a sudden, they're just like, please take me back. Cause it's almost like, you know, like they can't admit that they miss you or they're desperate for you, but they will find a way of just throwing that in there really quickly so they don't have to hear it them, themselves saying it. But they want to make sure that you get it, and it's just kind of like, mm. And there's like that bad offer on your side, too. But that's your reading, Scorpio. Thanks for watching the video. If you want a personal reading, my email is down in the description box below. Um, don't charge, but I do take tips and donations. Uh, like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. You guys have a beautiful day. Love your faces. Bye-bye.